I'm Richie Wurz and I'm a professor at UCLA in mechanical and aerospace engineering. The biggest lab I have is called the Plasma and Space Propulsion Lab. If you want to go really far into space, you want to use plasma propulsion because it's really efficient. Plasma is kind of at the cutting edge because it's something that we're not used to. We have solids, liquid, gas, and we all know what those are. But if you keep heating that gas, that's when you get a plasma. You can break a plasma down into its components, an ion and an electron. You now have a positive elephant-sized ion, and you have little firefly electrons that are negatively charged. If you want to do thrust, you want to move the big one. So you want to push the ion out, and then that moves your spacecraft in the other direction. A plasma thruster generally pushes with as much force as about the weight of a piece of paper. But if you have some time, you can shoot these ions out 10 to 100 times faster than you can ever shoot out a hot gas. And because of that, you get a lot more momentum exchange for each little piece of mass. When we start building plasma devices like plasma thrusters, we have a, an inherent challenge. There's going to be a wall nearby, and the plasma inherently will have to interact with that wall. So now you have these walls, and you have a plasma that's beating it up with ions, electrons, and photons. What type of materials can withstand that? So imagine you have a, a foam-like structure of some high-temperature metal. And now when an ion hits that foam, instead of just knocking atoms of the material off, it gets absorbed into the foam. The breakthroughs that we're making and, and people across the world are making are actually bringing it to the point where we can have plasmas that are more dense than we could ever imagine and have a more efficient device that we can use for interstellar or interplanetary travel we might actually really be able to revolutionize the way that we use plasmas here on Earth as well. And that's what kind of makes it an exciting field because the more we use it, the more we find good things that can come from it.